हेलो बच्चों लेट्स हीट द क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन से इस द फिगर शोज द वेरिएशन ऑफ स्पेसिफिक हीट कैपेसिटी सी ऑफ अ सॉलिड एज अ फंक्शन ऑफ टेंपरेचर टी द टेंपरेचर इज इंक्रीज कंटीन्यूअसली फ्रॉम 0 टू 500 केल्विन एट अ कांस्टेंट रेट इग्नोरिंग एनी वॉल्यूम चेंज द वॉल्यूम स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट टू अ रीजनेबल अप्रोक्सीमेशन ऑप्शन 1 रेट एट व्हिच हीट इज अब्जॉर्ब्ड इन द रेंज 0 टू 100 केल्विन वेरीज लीनियरली विद द टेंपरेचर टी Option two, heat absorbed in increasing temperature from zero to hundred Kelvin is less than heat required for increasing the temperature from four hundred to five hundred Kelvin. Option three, there is no change in the rate of heat absorption in the range four hundred to five hundred Kelvin. Option four, the rate of heat absorption increases in the range two hundred to three hundred Kelvin. Key concept is. calorimetry so the figure shows according to the definition of according to the definition of specific heat capacity T is equal to delta Q by m delta T, or delta Q is equal to m c delta T. Therefore, delta Q by delta T equal to m c delta T by delta. So, rate of heat absorbed. That is R, which is equal to delta Q by delta T. So we can say that delta Q by delta T is equal to, which is equal to m C delta T by delta T. Therefore, R is directly proportional to C. So now we will discuss all the options one by one. In option one. Temperature is zero to hundred Kelvin. T increases with T, but not linearly. So R increases, but not linearly. Therefore. Option one is wrong. Now we'll move to option two as delta Q is equal to m c delta T. So on integration we get Q is equal to m c delta T means area under curve C and T from the graph. It is clear that area under CT graph that is shown here is more in four hundred to five hundred Kelvin. Than in zero to hundred Kelvin. Therefore, heat absorbed in heat absorbed in zero to hundred Kelvin is less than in four hundred to. Five hundred Kelvin. So, option two is the correct one. In this, heat absorbed in in increases from zero to hundred degree Kelvin is less than heat required for increasing the temperature from four hundred to five hundred Kelvin.
in option 3 400 to 500 kelvin in 400 to 500 kelvin p remains constant there is no change in r so there is no change in rate of heat absorption in range 400 to 500 kelvin this is also now option 4 200 to 300 kelvin in 200 to 300 kelvin increases so r also increases so the rate of heat absorption increase in the range so this option is also correct so in this question so in this question figure is given in which it is shown that temperature is increased from continuously 0 to 500 kelvin there are options are given we have to choose the correct one option so the first is rate of heat absorbed in a 0 to in 0 to 100 degree kelvin temperature c increases with t but not linearly so this option is wrong in second option from 400 to 500 degree kelvin area under ct curve, curve is more than in 0 to 100 degree kelvin so option 2 is the right answer in option c c remain constant from 400 to 500 degree kelvin so there is no change in our rate of heat absorption so option 3 is also right option 4 in option 4 200 to 300 degree kelvin c increases with r increases so rate this option is also correct so option 2 3 so option 2 3 and 4 are the are the correct ones hope you understood it well best of luck